Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. I was somewhere else and I picked these cards. I picked these cards up. I have the Queen of Cups that came out, the King of Swords, the King of Cups. I was at my other desk and I just came in here. The Temperance card, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and all the readings. This is the third reading I've done today. My channel is just on fire. Yeah, the Queen of Cups that came out first. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be you or someone else that's playing in your energy. The person that could be playing in your energy could have um, a, the same sign or they could be the same sun sign or whatever your sun sign is. They may have a highly aspected, it's like their moon sign, um, their moon or rising sign or something like that. I'm hearing it even could even be like their north node, south node. South, Yeah. Queen of Cups. What came out next to the King, Queen of Cups or was the King of Swords? This Queen of Cups and this King of Swords. This King of Swords, I'm getting Archangel Michael-like energy, but I'm also getting to somebody, somebody's divine counterpart possibly um, could very much embody the energy or work very closely with Archangel Michael also. Because right next to the King of Swords now is the King of Cups. And this King of Cups is disappointed because a queen of cups is not accepting their offer someone has been trying to make you act extremely irrational most likely so that it's easier to attack you but you're too balanced for this both feet are planted on solid ground your emotions are very stable so whatever they've been using to attach to you it's not working they've been caught just like their bird that's sitting outside The Wheel of Fortune is here. This King of Swords. You see this King of Swords here? Like, they're ready. And then you have the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups coming out again. Somebody here is upset that someone has a new contract. They're moving forward. The person that someone is trying to battle spiritually for a divine feminine, though, is highly protected. And Archangel Michael is either, like, working closely with this person or protecting this divine feminine for sure. Clarifying the Queen of Cups is the death card. Somebody wanted you down on your knees. They want you to go through an ending. Heavy, heavy Scorpio energy. So also the person that's doing this, and here's the King of Swords again. So now we have the King of Swords out here twice. Okay. The Queen of Cups is here, the King of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords twice, and then the Death card. There's a, a older woman here, and the reading that I just did, there's an older woman that is spiritually attacking a divine feminine. There's an older woman that's spiritually attacking a divine masculine. These counterparts are mirroring each other. They both have to take down some type of evil matriarch, mother figure like person. Divine feminine has a woman. In her life, this could be someone on her job or whatever. This really angry, jealous mother figure that's attacking Divine Feminine. You have a Divine Masculine who has a mother figure. I'm getting more so like an aunt or like a, um, a mother-in-law or the mother of an ex or something like that that's attacking this masculine. What is in between these two people is this, this Jezebel energy. They both have to take down a Jezebel. But this Divine Feminine not only has this um, Jezebel mother figure like energy attacking them, this Divine Feminine also has a Karmic Masculine that's attacking them. And I feel like Archangel Michael is just like enough is enough because Archangel Michael is showing up out here twice. Yeah, because you have a distorted masculine out here that's facing judgment for constantly watching, stalking, and spying on an earth angel here that they just need to leave alone. The, the king of wands here and the knight of wands, this could be this um, temperance energy. This, this is heavy uh, Sagittarius energy. Somebody here has taken action for sure to balance out their emotions. They're not, somebody here is not allowing themselves to be swayed at all by this this masculine and this distorted energy and whoever this masculine is who keeps on trying to get close 
to this feminine here who's this earth angel or even to try to get close to this person that is protecting this divine feminine they are about to experience a major fall from grace like this person is going to be in a lot of trouble for what they're doing everything is is showing block i did an urgent reading the other night and i was saying whoever decided to fire up some seven day candles because the full moon in capricorn is in a few days when the ritual started it backfired it couldn't even get started hardly yeah somebody here is playing around in someone's energetic field because they know this person is balanced y'all the devil caught this person that's obsessed they're caught they have no way to go no way out they can't go anywhere it's, this person is obsessed with a twin flame union I don't know if y'all just heard that loud bang <laughs> in my house <laughs> people be mad when the cherry when the entities the dark spirits if they're, it, do, it doesn't work they be so mad the Wheel of Fortune is here. Whoever is trying to cast these illusions, it's not working. Somebody here is too healed. And you have the moon out here, the chariot. Again, full moon in Cancer. We're summer solstice. We're in Cancer season. I'm sorry, not full moon. It's just Cancer season. Full moon is in Capricorn. But someone here is, is getting up close and personal. And what they're finding out, what this distorted masculine is learning, is that, oh my goodness, Somebody here has gone within to do some deep shadow work and healing. They've healed themselves and they're getting close and close to realizing that they cannot touch this person because whatever magic they sent out, it didn't work because as soon as they thought that they were getting in someone's energetic field, they instantly were knocked out of it. The magic did not work. Look at this person here. Somebody's like, what? It didn't, no, it didn't, it didn't do anything. This queen of a queen of wands, king of wands out here, will of fortune is destroyed. This occultist here, they're like, what? Somebody thought for sure that something had to work. They thought they was a master or something. I always tell people, your skill level doesn't matter when it comes to a person with protection. If they're protection, if they're protected, if they're called by God to do so, I don't care if you get a whole army to do magic. You're not going to take that person out. Whoever this master, occultist, sorcerer, or whomever, they don't know what to do. They're like, <laughs> I'm completely run out of options because somebody here is way too strong. Somebody is laughing at the demons that's coming towards them. They're too strong. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Somebody is holding on to some energy for dear life because they need it to manifest. And then the King of Cups is getting their emotional balance back. I feel like this is possibly like this divine masculine. Because look here at the beginning. The Queen of Cups is who we started with. Who we end with is the King of Cups. This masculine here, Divine Masculine, we're switched to him. This Divine Masculine is becoming awakened. And what this Divine Masculine is realizing is that they keep on missing opportunities to be happy because of this Queen of Pentacles. This King of Cups is this, this Queen of Cups' is person. But this person here is, is feeling devastated. Like it's going through a dark night of the soul. Why? Because you have this Queen of Pentacles. That's trying to make this person miss opportunities. And let me tell you something that's very interesting here. Remember I said earlier, it's two different older women who are attacking a feminine and a masculine. I have a queen of pentacles here. I have a queen of pentacles here. This king of pentacles. I told you guys, there is a feminine out here who has a queen of pentacles and a king of pentacles that's attacking the divine feminine. 
you have a masculine out here who is being attacked by this queen of pentacles. So it's it's a divine feminine out here. It has um I have a, a reading about this. I don't know if it, it could be one or two years old. And I think it, it was a Sagittarius full moon. And this temperance card is here. And I said somebody has gone through so much grief and sorrow because you have a double mission. So you have to actually defeat two big demons in your lifetime. This King of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles. And this Queen of Pentacles, I don't feel is, they may not be an earth sign, but they're older. And what they're blocking is your stability and security. What this karmic masculine wants to do is steal your stability and security. So that it's like they're somebody here has a they're um they're being tag teamed. For some, this is a couple. For some of you, it's not a couple. Or maybe these people were a couple in a past life. But right now, these two people aren't necessarily a couple for some of you. This could be somebody, an old lover, and then someone like on your job that's trying to destroy you. Whatever the situation is, there's a divine feminine here. You have two different people in your energy that's trying to attack your finances and your pentacles. Your stability, your offers, the offers that you receive from people, as well as any type of financial offers or opportunities. There's a divine masculine out here that's fighting up against this queen of pentacles. They could have been involved in the past with an uh, older woman that's angry. This could be the, the mother of an ex-girlfriend or ex-wife, somebody that's mad. But this person is becoming awakened to what's going on. These people, I'm telling you, that, that they, they don't know what to do. Yeah, because look here, it's over. The 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 devil has been caught. It's over. The world is here, and the world is falling underneath the death card. This this who there's also a person out here. Like I told you, there's an older woman out here that's doing a lot of this stuff. This older woman is a Scorpio, and she works with the devil to sabotage unions. Yep. She's a witch. She's a dark witch. She's contracted by the devil to sabotage unions. And she is some kind of occultist or spiritualist. She calls herself leading people to the light, but she actually works in the dark. This could be a religious person. It could be anybody. She claims she, she, to, to people front facing like Gemini energy. She's sweet. She's kind. She's going to help you lead you out of the darkness and away from temptation. The whole time she's a witch. She's destroying people. Soul contracts, siphoning energy. She's doing, she's doing a lot. And somebody is, is awakening to it. They're like, Oh wow. Yeah. The reason why everything is being blocked is because they cross paths with this, this agent of the devil. Thought this person was nice. They're not. The star. Queen of Pentacles. The star is underneath this Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, this person comes off like they are a healer. They could even do, have, like, make money from claiming to be a healer. The star. They, this, this person is in the public eye. Queen of Cups, judgment, the Empress. But again, this person is facing judgment because... They keep trying to destroy this divine feminine. King of Cups, King of Swords. And the Emperor in the reverse. There's so much chaos and confusion in this energy because a lot of these people that are sending out all of these attacks, you guys, they have the same signs. There's a lot of Scorpio energy out here. This is that 12th house, you know, Pluto and Scorpio energy that we talked about a few days ago. There are significant age differences here. You have a lot of Scorpio energy. Whoever this karmic masculine is, they also have Scorpio highly aspected in their chart. They could have Scorpio in at least three or four places in their chart. They're very dark. These are narcissists and extremely dark empaths. Yeah, this is to cause the earth oranges to be very confused about what to do on Judgment Day. 
this is also part of your your awakening your your own spiritual test do you really know who you are because if you if you do you shouldn't be um con i won't say you shouldn't be confused because it it's easy to be confused here but yeah don't don't get tricked that's all i'll say somebody has to face judgment also uh for causing these illusions for this earth angel yeah somebody here keeps on watching a person they're trying to watch a person to figure out the best way to strike to attack the person yeah but this is over it's it's over the wheel of fortune is i, I wish so bad like you have the wheel of fortune here the chariot the strength but on both of these cards you have this this is an entity Somebody here is using an entity. I've been telling y'all, somebody is allowing an entity to possess them to do this work that they're doing. It's a monitoring spirit, though. It's a very big entity or something that they are binding to someone to watch them, to monitor them so that they can sabotage their contract. That's what this is. Hey, you have King of Pentacles. He should have held back from doing this. Boy, these people are in some trouble. I don't know what it is about this energy, but people are in trouble. Yeah. This person here is so discombobulated. They don't know what to do because they've been kicked out of somebody's energy. I mean, and they were forcefully kicked out. I'm t They're buried outside. Somebody is stuck. This could even be somebody like they're astral traveling. Or they're going to get stuck while doing that. Because you're not, wherever they're trying, whatever plane, timeline, realm, or dimension that they're trying to, to travel to, to get to you, or whatever, like, system or matrix they're trying to take you back to, you're completely out of it. It's like, dun dun dun, dun. The queen has arrived. Judgment, the star, the world. Do you see she's out of the world? You're not in the same world with these people anymore. You're completely out. The star. Somebody here thinks that they're a star. You're a bigger star. <laughs> Judgment. Where these crazy people, where they, they go to, you know better. You're not going there. Somebody here, I'm talking about just got drop kicked out of somebody's energy. And the person needed to get back in your energy to attach something to you. Somebody has been trying, I feel like, to be completely honest, I feel like somebody has already attached some type of monitoring spirit or something like that to you. They could have tried to do this in your dreams or something, or maybe that wasn't successful. They, they're trying to use monitoring spirits for sure. They need to know something about your movement in order to stop it. They see the wheel is moving. They need to stop this. So they're, they're using some type of dark spirit or entity or, or a monitoring spirit of some sort to try and stop you. It's over. It, when I tell you it's over, you can sing, dance, and do whatever you want to do. This is like completely over. And it's, again, somebody's like, wait a minute, I don't understand because you still have this offer coming in. And they don't understand that, like, you didn't take the bait. I feel like somebody tries to do some kind of magic for sure, trying to manifest you back. And it was to set you up for an attack so that you would be stopped and blocked. They could, so that they could ruin you. You didn't, it didn't happen. They're like, wait, what? And also, there's still an offer that's coming towards you that they tried to block. <laughs> I I just saw something in my head. <laughs> I'm seeing something in my head. I feel like there is a divine couple out here. I don't even know if these people know each other. I'll be I don't know if they know each other, but some do know each other. But the the way these two people communicate in spirit is really funny. I, I just saw, um, if you guys have ever seen, what's her name? Gabrielle Union and Dwayne, 
is his name Dwayne du Wade? Yeah. If you've ever seen the clip of their wedding from years ago, they have like a secret handshake. On their wedding day, they had like this whole like elaborate, detailed, intricate like handshake that they have. This is that's what I just saw in my head. Some of you guys like in spirit, you and this this counterpart, y'all are like, yeah, we got. <laughs> You're like, yeah, we got them. <laughs> somebody thought that they had you and somebody else like just shook. They they thought they had this in the in the bag, and I see y'all in the spirit like. Yeah. <laughs> this it's, it's that's the only reason why I just kind of chuckle. Like this for some this is it's it's there's no need to make this so serious cuz you're you're good. You're protected. This is so funny though. I'm literally I'm seeing her in her wedding dress veil on and they like out there handshaking all this other stuff like, yeah, we made it. <laughs> Somebody was like, yeah, we're going to stop that. And they're like, wait a minute, what? The, she still got the offer? He still made the offer? Or somebody's like trying to block you. It, it didn't work. It just didn't. <laughs> I, justice. What's done in the dark shall come to light. This monitoring spirit, this entity that somebody sent out, is going back to them. Are you playing with the full moon? Are you playing around with devil energy? Full moon and Capricorn? Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody here can see clearly behind the veil. And they're calling for karmic justice. So this tower will happen. Double justice. The tower. Look at this man down there. Somebody just like jumped off the cliff. I'm so, somebody just got kicked out of somebody's energy, and I'm hearing like access, the 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 access is permanently denied. They will never get back in your energy or this person's, like ever, because whoever this is, they get in your energy to work against you, but they also use your energy to protect themselves. This is also too. On, you know, coming out of the spirit for a moment. If somebody has been like illegally watching you, stalking you, hacking you or something like that. I'm hearing spyware. Something has caught them. There's a firewall of protection or something. Somebody's IP address has been tracked, traced, tracked. If someone has even been illegally like using someone's access, this could be something as simple for some of you as you change your passwords. You got a new phone or something. When people, you know, of course, they're in relationships or whatever. If somebody ever had like the code to your phone and email or anything like that. By you changing something here, it destroyed everything. Or this is like an art. You need to change something. Because you changed your routine, you changed your number, you came off of social media. Uh, I'm getting for sure somebody deactivated or reset something. It threw everything off. They can't, they can't locate you. Like... I'm also, I'm paying close to this queen. If somebody has been like using your pictures or something like that, you could have deactivated your social media. If they were going to your social media page, perhaps to look at your pictures, you deactivated your social media. They can't look at it. They can't look at it. They can't get any energy. They, they, they can't print out the pic. This what I, Okay. Somebody was hoping to perhaps take one of your pictures to print it out, maybe for some kind of altar work or something like that. You deactivated your account or something like that. They can't, they can't get whatever it is that they need. Which tells me this, this may be somebody you don't know. They can't get what they need. Or if a practitioner has been hired to do something, somebody was like, yeah, go to this person's 
um, social media account. They got plenty of pictures on there. Da 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 da. Or go on this person's social media. You will see a picture of whoever they're dating now, or what, whatever it is. Or you will see a picture of their ex. Whatever. Somebody was using an account or some kind of information, and they were going to do some kind of spell work or ritual with it. Boom. They got. They went to it. They were blocked, or you're, like the profile is gone. Or this is if you and someone once, you know, had a, a shared account. You know, that's, that's, for some people, they do that. They're not married, but, you know, you and this person, if you live together, you know, they may have, they may know who you bank with. And maybe, men are notorious for doing this, for sure, because they don't, some people just don't pay a lot of attention to detail. They forget certain things. You break up with a person. I'm just giving you scenarios that I'm saying. You break up with somebody. You and this person, you shared a bank together, right? Let's say all of a sudden now, if, if they go into the banking app. Okay, promise. So what I'm seeing now, I'm, I'm getting it, but it's hard for me to put in words. Let's say, you know, if you if you have ever done a joint account with somebody, you go to the bank, and if both of you have online banking, you can see that account. But depending on how you set the accounts up, they could have possibly been able to see, like, your savings account as well, like all of your accounts. So let's say you go to the bank, you're like, yeah, you know, I need to change your permissions. Take that person off my account. Um, I don't want them to be able to see my other accounts, but for for whatever reason, maybe you don't want to change the account that you had. It may not even be anything in it. I'm seeing a zero balance. There's nothing in it. But when this person logs into the online banking, they can still see your like your savings or another card that's um connected to that account. Therefore, they're tracking you. They're monitoring you. They know like, oh, you want you must have went on a date Saturday night because I'm seeing, you know, a, a dinner check for X amount of dollars. And I know it wasn't just you, you know, like that type of stuff. Or they're looking and they're, somebody has been tracking your movements because they still had access to an account. It could have been one of your social media profiles. Like I said, it could have been a bank, an app that you had, an email but as soon as you went in there and you deactivated something, reset something, they can't track you. And some you did this right at, at the nick of time because now they, I'm telling you, you doing this or when you do it, that's it. For some of you also, this is you doing like a cord cutting, a spiritual bath. They can't read your energy. Something here has been cut off, and this person has stopped right in their tracks. Because karmic justice is being called, and I'm telling you, whatever somebody has been secretly doing to watch you, stalk you, and spy on you, and possibly even another person in your life, it's over. And they've been doing this in the background for a long time. Somebody has had full access to something of yours. And when they needed it most, which is now for them to do whatever this major spell work is for something to happen, they lost it. Somebody got an intuitive nudge. Hey, change your password. Don't go there. Do this, do that. Close their bank account. Something like that. And this person is like, oh my goodness. They're like, what? How? Cups represents not just emotions, but into it. Somebody's like, how did you know to do that? How? How did you know it? Because this monitoring spirit, and a monitoring spirit, you guys can be anything. This monitoring spirit is like, what? Like, this monitoring spirit is, is, is dying right now. It, it's, it's like, what? Like I said, the bird outside, you flew and you got caught. I just said that. And I'm... I'm I'm pretty sure that this has to be somebody who's watching my channel. I I gave you guys an analogy the other day about a security system, and I mentioned my back door. Maybe the night 
after that. Something, some kind of, like I said, I don't know what it was. It was big enough for me to see it on my camera. Knocked my broom over. And it hit my back door. At not late at night. Well, today, and I said on the video, I was like, don't come here because trespassers will be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just joking around saying that I go outside a minute ago. Oh, and, and I think yesterday when I went out there to get the broom yesterday, the day before, whatever, I noticed I'm like, oh, you know, it's a few little, net, you know, insects or whatever out here. I just, you know, you just sweep your, your walkway or whatever. I'm sweeping, getting stuff out the way, cleaning up, you know, little cobwebs. That was like two days ago. And I sprayed some, um, the flying insect spray. I kid you not, I opened up my back door. Like yesterday, I think. There would have to have been maybe, um, at least like 30, like little gnats out there. Okay. Cause I, I don't, I don't like bugs, but that's an evil omen. Like people are sending something to to you bad energy insects spiders all this stuff you pay attention to it so i have these little sticky pads that you can put by the door so if a cricket or something like that you know tries to come into your door it'll just get stuck i go outside before i turn this camera on it's a bird out there well what was it two or three weeks ago i did a reading and I told you guys, I said, it's a bird that got stuck in my window. The peak of this bird was stuck in my window. My back window. I let it go. It flew out in the yard, but it couldn't get any further. It was another bird, and I'm sure it was the mama bird that just kept on circling around, trying to get this bird. Two or three other birds. Like, they're looking, you can tell they're looking for this baby bird. And I was just like, hmm, Interesting. I, that's why I tell you, you see signs in everything when you really tap in. Me, I was I was kind. I released the bird. I could have let it sit there and die on my window. I let it go. Not even two, maybe three weeks later, same bird that looks the exact same as the last one stuck out there. This is somebody here who is obsessed. They can't control themselves. They can't stop trying to get in I need to see I need to get in I need to know what's next because they already know that something big is next so I need to sabotage it. I gotta know what's next that's why I tell people stop telling people your business a person can't shoot down a dream that they don't know every time you have a dream you don't have to wake up and call somebody and tell them Every time something happens in your life, your job, your, your finances within your family, you don't have to tell anybody. Learn how to be quiet and talk to God. Because somebody here has had some inside access. In the physical. This could even be somebody was pay, paying an investigator or something like that. They're finding out, uh-oh, holiday weekend. That person's going to be out of town. They can't. Somebody can't ride past somebody. Somebody cannot do something that they've been doing to gather information and evidence. And somebody's like, whoa, what are we going to do now, you guys? Because they're completely stuck. The tower. I'm telling you, somebody's trying to get in a person's energy, and they're like, what? I told you guys, the system has been upgraded. Whoever was gatekeeping lost the keys. They can't even get back in. And they're being, they're being fired, terminated, escorted off the premises. For me, even saying that, this could even be somebody, you guys, who has, like, some kind of access. Surveillance. They've been surveillancing you, or this is someone who works in a company. This could be somebody who works at a phone company, and they've been accessing your information. I don't know if at the phone at the phone company can they see your, like your text messages. This could be somebody also. Whatever this level of security clearance and access somebody has is very high. 
Somebody definitely has been using some kind of spy software or something where they're accessing your phone calls, your text messages. I'm hearing they're cloning your phone or something like that. So they know, they've, they've known everything that you've been doing. But what may be happening is th there's a third party here. Whoever has given this person this access, that person is possibly losing their job or they've lost this access. There's a middle person here. So if that person no longer has access, whoever is watching you getting the information, they don't have access. And right now, it was so crucial, it was so critical for them to have access to you right now. So again, this could simply be you saying, you know, I'm going to just change your phone, reset your phone, change your password, anything. But I'm really feeling you don't have to do anything. This person is losing the access from whoever was giving them the access before. Because I feel like somebody is getting caught, actually. If somebody has been in a company and they've been looking at something illegal that belongs to you, your bank account information, this could be, you know, especially like some people who... um you you go to you know in your neighborhood you you go to the same Starbucks or you typically you visit the same bank. There could be somebody in the bank. Like I said, something heavy for sure about banking. Banking and cell phones for sure. Somebody is tracking bank banking information, cell phones, maybe even like email because I'm getting I'm seeing Google Maps. This could be somebody at the bank phone company or whatever they're reporting back to somebody oh yeah i saw I, I walked i looked in their account today and they went to such and such for dinner i'm like wait a minute this person been going out to dinner way a lot more lately what who is this that they going out to dinner with i'm hearing that whitney um houston song when she say friday night you and your boys went out to eat then they went out but you came home around three she said something about um somebody being cheap because only um what did she say only four of you had dinner. If four of you had dinner, must have been cheap or something because I found the credit card receipt. Whatever, what she's saying though is clearly whatever, whatever you're saying is not checking out. <laughs> okay, but somebody here is watching this. This could even be too because it is about to be a holiday weekend. Somebody here could see that somebody is checking in to a location. Somebody here could be looking at like, oh, this person has an itinerary. They're, they they booked a flight. Okay. They're checking in somewhere. They're, they're planning to catfish this person, ambush them or whatever. Boom. All of a sudden, you know, it could be anything. Somebody could drop their phone and decide, you know what? I need a new phone. Boom. They get a new number. Go with a totally different cell phone carrier or something. Somebody's access is just over. And this person has been doing this every moon cycle. Especially on the weekends, and this person does this. I feel I'm getting. I don't. I'm channeling this. Somebody they do this when they travel. I'm seeing. I'm seeing a guy. He throws his duffel bag down in the hotel room. He gets on his phone and he just gets to just scrolling, looking through somebody's business, and it's not his business. This person is doing this to a feminine, and and try and try possibly tracking whoever this feminine may be dealing with if they're dealing with somebody. They, they, this person literally is leaving their, their, their family. I'm seeing this person just throw the, throw the duffel bag down. They get in a hotel room in the bed. This person is not going anywhere. They're in their bed all night, just scrolling through what your pictures, your, your transactions. They look and do everything. This person gonna throw that duffel bag down and, and pull up that phone that they, they're cloning or whatever they're doing and look and it's not going to be anything there. But see, they need that information for them to cast these spells or for them to go and tell somebody. Like they need, I'm even getting, I don't know, y'all, I'm in this right now. 
They, they need your phone number or they need something. Because they have to plug it into a, like an app or something. This could even be like, you know, like I mentioned catfishing. Somebody is trying to text you as if there's somebody else. But like they need to have the correct phone number. This is this what I'm saying. This person, like they don't they don't know something by heart. So as soon as now new phone or whatever, somebody is, is unplugging the iCloud or whatever, they can't actually get the information. They're like, how am I supposed to trick this person? It's not there. They can't. Or whoever is, is helping them do this, whoever is giving this person burner phones or whatever, they're not there. They can't, like, I'm telling you, somebody has been stopped in their tracks. And this was, like, the time for them to do this, to block something for you completely. And it was totally just, like, destroyed. The Hierophant. The Hierophant, the Hangman. The Hierophant, the Hangman. God woke somebody up and told them to do something. The Temperance and the Empress. This is an earth angel who is a divine feminine or it's an earth angel going towards the divine feminine. I feel like God told somebody, hey, wake up. Don't go somewhere. Don't do something. Don't tell somebody. Something. Hold something back. Hold, hold, hold back. Don't do something. I also feel too that this king of pentacles who keeps on attacking someone, watching them hacking, stalking, spying, this person did not listen to a warning. Hey, don't go back over there and do that. Just like that bird out there. You got caught last time and she let you go. If you go this time, you're not getting out. I told you to stop coming here. Trespassers are shot. I literally said that in my video a few days ago. I said, if you come here, you're not leaving. I said that. And I was just being funny. I said, if you come here <laughs> on site, you won't make it back out. That bird is not going to get out of here. Somebody told this person, don't come back now. They let you go last time. This could even be somebody who has gotten caught up with the law before. Okay, you just got a little smack on the hand last time. If you get in trouble again, you're going to jail. This person, no, I'm going to do it. Caught. They couldn't stop themselves. That's, that's what obsession does to you, though. That's, obs that's insanity. Because somebody here is obsessed with someone that they once had a connection with. And obsessed with the fact that this person now has a new choice in love. They're like, there's no way. I need to see it for myself. Somebody thought that whatever they were doing, it was never going to, to run out. This could also be somebody's spiritual gift. Somebody could have the gift of sight. Like I said, they could be astral traveling, projecting, doing teleport, whatever they're doing. It was stopped. And it had to be stopped so that you could actually be free. Queen of Cups, so that you could be free and liberated. But again, I, I'm telling you, you told this person, stop playing with me in the, in the night. Stop playing with me in the dark. Whatever you're doing in the dark, stop doing it. I'm a divine feminine. It's what this, I, listen, this is a divine feminine. Why do you keep playing with this? This person was like, no, I'm going I'm to do it. Even though they were seeing that the magic wasn't working, still, they took action. And whatever they did, it, it's out of control. And the secret is out of who this dark priest is or whomever, who this person is. It's out. And wow, death. It's over. It's completely over. And here's the emperor. You got a dark priestess out here. Like I said, that mother figure, matriarch person or whomever. And you got this emperor. These people, it's, they're out of there. It's, it's like... Divine Feminine, whoever this is, that magic didn't work. You just killed two birds with one stone. You killed two birds with one stone. Did you hear me? Two birds, one stone.
one stone, one little baby stone. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, The Lovers, Knight of Swords, The Sun. Divine Masculine is running towards his Divine Feminine. This contract is right there in your hand. All you have to do was get the... God was like, listen, I'm going to give you everything you want. I just need you to do me just a little, one favor. He was like, okay, God, okay, wh what is it? I need you to get rid of this. I feel like God came back and said, you know what? Let me double it up for you. You've been so kind. You've been so... Let me do... Can you, can you take care of two demons for me? You carried that cross. You killed two birds with one stone. I also said for some of you, you protected yourself, but you stood in the gap and you protected somebody else and you got them out. You could have protected another earth angel. This earth angel could have been your divine feminine or master. You pulled them out as well because somebody was attacking both of you. Literally, there's three karmics here who have been taken out. So in a past life, this is a COVID that has come back in this lifetime to attack this divine feminine and masculine. I feel like divine masculine had a mother figure or somebody attacking them. Divine feminine had an ex-lover and a mother figure or someone attacking them. And when I say mother figure, it doesn't have to be your mother. It's just a, a older person possibly. I feel like all three of these people, this coven, cult or whatever that has followed these two people into this lifetime from a past life, this is it for them because they were contracted by the devil to do this. Full moon in Capricorn. It's still nearly a week before we have the full moon and this is already happening. This is, it's, it's, it's over before it even gets started. Wow. I love it though. I love it because somebody has been warned. Stop doing this. Stop attacking that person. Leave them alone. Let that person live their life. Don't do that again. They caught you last time. And you can see, that's what I'm saying, the insanity. I'm just looking at even in my own life. Like some of, some of this stuff, it could be happening to me or I'm just receiving the messages to give to somebody else to help. Every time I, I'm looking at my back door, I'm like, and it's birds. There's a monitoring spirit. A bird literally stuck in my, the, the peak, and it was a, a little bird, the peak stuck in my window. I said, I'm like, listen, don't do that. I had to have the security people come to my house. I'm like, you know, just check everything. I added some more stuff to my house. Then you sending stuff out, knocking over mops. What you want to do, scare me in the middle of the night? I'm protected. It's like people want to try, like, try you. Now, the bird out there can't move. And, and you know what? I think back to that reading where I talked about the bird the last time. Coming on my patio is out of jurisdiction. Mama bird, daddy bird, and anybody else, they not coming on my patio to get you. And no matter how much they try, you're stuck. To a, 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 a pad that's twice your size. There is no bird or anybody else that's going to come and get you. Nobody's going to come and get you from where you are. You're stuck. Better hope an eagle or a snake don't come and, and, and devour you out there. You can't go anywhere. House. High honor. People going to the houses of people of high honor. Mature woman. This 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 evil evil per wicked person. You stuck now? Or will be. What's this? Occupation. I said this could be a, a woman that works uh, at someone's job or in the same field. What you can expect, though, is sudden wealth, a contract, wow, marriage, child. You see that? 
expectation, sudden wealth, the lovers, child, marriage. And somebody is like, say, what? Message of concern and the concern. These people who keep trying to go against you, they're very concerned. They're like, what? How? You mean to tell me you're still going to be victorious and happy? Why? Yeah, you killed two birds with one stone. And I told you, it's the divine feminine. You have a woman and you have a man. And I also told you, it's a significant, it's an age difference here. You have a, a woman and a man both attacking you. One is a lover. One is someone you work with, an ex-friend or something else. As for this divine masculine, they're getting their freedom papers too. They're the main male. I feel like they're going to be the talk of the town. Because they're about to come into great fortune. And these people who was bothering this person on their journey, they're going to be in bad health. This community. And I told you about these three people. All in all, it's three karmics out here. In poverty. They can't get in you and this person's energy. That, that, that destroys them. Because all they, they needed energy from you. Yeah. They were stealing this man's energy because he's, he's on a pathway to become wealthy. And he's going to take his gifts to this main female. And there's a lot of people on in despair because they could not get on this journey and steal from this divine feminine or this masculine. Because somebody was looking at a divine feminine and all they saw was dollar signs. Because of your spiritual inheritance. But now they're in poverty because they're being kicked off of your path. They were contracted by the devil. Time is up. The work is done. Divine Feminine learned the lesson. She got rid of these people. Divine Masculine did what he had to do to get rid of some people. And, and now it's, it's over.